Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. Before the the we like way we were trying to win was like usually like in closed beta, something like this we'd probably use uh like like Torment of Hailfire. And but you know what? Banefire we'll just have to do for now. And GG's. Are you looking for all the sweet new cards from Core 2021? Well, if you are, look no farther because Card Kingdom has them all up for pre-order right now. That's right, they're up for pre-order right now, so go check it out at CardKingdom.com. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Single Scoop. This week we're doing another historic uh, best of one video. This week we're playing a deck that I've been playing on stream and it's been actually a blast. And it is called Removal Tribal. That's right, you can figure it out by yourself there. We are an entirely like removal based deck, that's all we have between like Moment of Craving, Heartless Act, Tendrils of Corruption, Murderous Riders, things like that. Uh, and then we just try to remove as many of our creatures or opponent's creatures as we can. And well, how do we win? Well, that's right, Mastermind's Acquisition to grab whatever we need, but we do have Revel, of, Revel in Riches in the main deck. We have Blood Crypt in the main deck so that we can go and grab Banefire out of the board. Uh, but on top of that, it's, it's like, there's like Liliana and there's just the value of like Immortal Sun and whatnot, but usually it's Revel and Riches or your opponents will just concede because you keep killing everything of theirs. But this does mean that our deck is very bad against a control deck. So let's hope that we don't get paired against one. So that holding up any longer, let's see how we do in an event. Uh, huh. Yeah, I'm keeping this hand. First off, we're hoping to play against only aggro decks. We cannot beat a control deck. So if the opponent actually is a Demir deck... There's a strong chance we just lose. Alright, so they're playing a Swamp. That's good. So it could be like Black White Vampires or Mono Black Vampires or just Mono Black. Alright. Vampire of the Dire Moon's going to connect. Alright, so that means that this must just be like a Mono Black deck. Huh. I, well, it seems like they have more creatures than we do. Outside of like the one Massacre Girl, we're pretty much all removal. And we're trying to win through Revel and Riches. Uh, if you control a Vampire... Okay, so I guess I can just go ahead and cast Moment of Cravings, Arterial Flow. We discard two cards. Can't discard the Revel and Riches. We do need that. And we'll go ahead and play Blood Crypt Pass. So now we have to just hope that they don't cast it again. We want to get Revel and Riches on board as soon as possible. Oh, no. That's not good. That's not good. Uh, Take Tendrils. Because then that gives us a chance to draw Removal. If not, we have to go to Mastermind's Acquisition. Alright, since they aren't playing anything yet, I'm just going to go ahead and cast the, or activate Castle Lock Twain. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and play the Revel and Riches. Now we pass to the opponent. We have a lot of lands, unfortunately, but hopefully we draw something here. Alright, another land, pass to the opponent. I'm going to play as many basic swamps as I can first before I play the Blood Crypt. Obliterator. Okay, so that means we need to now go and draw another card. Alright, perfect. Let's go ahead and play Lily. Lily will go ahead and minus, get rid of Obliterator. That'll net us a treasure token past the opponent here. We've got Lily who can potentially make more tokens for us too. Ooh, nice. All right, past the opponent. Like if they kill our zombie token, that means that we get to draw a card and I think that's the last thing they want for us to do. Haunt of Hightower. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just exile this now. Before they get to do anything else with it. And yes, it sucks that yeah, the exiling does not play well with Revel and Riches. Which, by the way, for those that are wondering, that's exactly why we play Golden Demise. Because we do want... Like, Cry the Carnarium, though great, doesn't synergize or play well with Revel and Riches. Okay. However, Haunt of Hightower getting removed. That's the business I'm in. And I like that. Alright, let's go ahead and draw a card. Another Swamp. Not the greatest draw. Okay, a Swamp again. All right, pass the opponent. So now if they play like Obliterator or a Haunt again, now we can just minus Lily, draw two cards, and also get another treasure. All right, Obliterator it is from the opponent. Uh-huh. So I guess here's what we'll have to go with. Go ahead and go with the ability to draw a card. Let's see what we find. All right, Arena, not the greatest. Perfect, actually. Sure. So now we draw two, and then we get to go ahead. I, I don't I don't mind killing it again, because I do want to net another treasure token. All right. Got another treasure token. This is exactly what we want to do. Play against a creature deck, things like that. 
Um, what do I want to grab here? Let's see, what can I find? Uh, I don't hate the idea of having another treasure token generator. And something that we could do right now. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, actually. I probably should have played this before I actually killed the obliterator. So now, every time they play a creature, we get two tokens off of that. And that's exactly what I want. Sweet, a land. That is unfortunate. But not the end. Alright, so we have to discard something. We'll go ahead and throw away Moment of Craving. They have to target something from any graveyard, right? From a graveyard, so they could target my Lily. That's fine. Or oddly enough, if I let them get the Lily, though... No, 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 I can't let them do that. That's a bad time. And let's go ahead and get rid of those two cards. Sure. So we got rid of the Eldest Reborn value. They don't get to do anything with that. Great. Completely blank that card from them. Obliterator, sure. Let's go ahead and name even. We don't get to draw anything from this. Or we don't get any uh, treasures off this because of the exile. Alright. So, because of that, I kind of want to draw a card. But I don't know if I want to go City's Blessing. You know what? It's fine. Take three. Oh, come on. I guess, you know, we could play Arena. Arena gives me six turns to find, like, a Tendrils of Corruption. Bolus' Citadel is not what I wanted to see, unfortunately. Okay. Perfect. Uh, Immortal Sun. Let's go ahead and try to get something going now. Huh. So, one, two, six. Yeah, they have a, an Obliterator. Sure. So, we are drawing three cards this turn, right? Three cards this turn. That means there's got to be something worth playing. I mean, they're digging through their graveyard, so that, that, what does that mean? Like, yeah, okay, some kind of reanimator effect. So, Omen brings back a creature, so probably Haunt of Hightower. And now we're looking for a Sweeper, ideally Extinction Event. So, I think I might have to cast this draw spell at the end of their turn. Or, I mean, I have to activate Castle, which means I actually knock off two more turns. But, every creature they play, I get to potentially nab two tokens, uh, two treasure tokens. So that means if I could kill both of these, that's four treasure tokens. What is the opponent working with now? I realize, though, if I find a Masterminds Acquisition, I can also just win. Uh, let's take my turn here. Alright, perfect. Great. Sure. Um, you know what? Let's go with this. This nabs me a silly amount of tokens, so that's good. Right. Uh, sure, you got it. Get rid of that. Net two treasure tokens. Resolve all. And then six, nine, ten, eleven. Give that minus, uh, oh wait, it, it costs one less due to the Immortal Sun. Alright, so they are getting closer to dying every time they play a creature. And I assume that's the one of few ways they have to win, so... They gotta play something at some point. Alright. They can't activate their Davriel, thankfully, because of the Immortal Sun. Now, Mastermind's Acquisition wins us the game. On the spot. Because then we go get Banefire out of the sideboard. That's why we play the Singleton Red. Or the, the Blood Crips. Uh, sure. Why? Eh, not that great. Not that great either. Not that beneficial. Alright. I guess we just go ahead and kill Davriel. Play Murderous Rider. Hold up Mana? Well, if they're going to kill our Murderous Rider, I guess may as well play the other one. This way it keeps our, our cards in hand low. So this way we can play Castle Octwain. Alright, sure. What are we what are they looking for now? I mean, yeah, we have to sack something. Sure, you got it. There we go. Now we win. We got Mastermind's Acquisition, which is exactly what we needed. Before the the we like way we were trying to win was like usually like in closed beta. Something like this, we'd probably use uh like like Torment of Hailfire. And but you know what? Banefire will just have to do for now. And GG's. Uh, definitely keep this. I mean, our deck only has removal spells, so I'm just happy to see that we have the early drops. Uh, please don't be a control deck. Please don't be a control deck. It's all we can ask for. Alright, Golgari, that's good. Oh, it's Feel the Dead. Alright, well, good news. If we can find our Mastermind's Acquisition before they can, like, go off, we just need to be able to, like, get them in a situation where they... Want to play their their masterminds acquisition or whatever, or their their get a ton of zombies, and then we just blow everything up. Okay, so we gotta really draw masterminds acquisition. Get virulent plague, shut down all their zombies. Sure. Yep. Yup. You got it, opponent. Sure. 
Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this Dread Presence now with the two Moment of Cravings. If we- the reason why I want to save Vraska's Contempt is because they could potentially play something like Golos, who knows. Escape from the Wilds. Alright, Crucible. So they're looking to try to go for, like, the LD game plan at some point. Alright, opponent, sure. So they have all their zombies that they need, unfortunately. So right now I'm gonna have to go with Revel and Riches. And every time they play a zombie that, that, I guess, can benefit us. I mean, as long as they don't have too many zombies early. Right now we're not currently being overrun with zombies, but that doesn't mean that's always going to stay that way. So, I am a little concerned here. There's Golos. There's the two counter, like, two lands they need to get two more zombies this turn. Question is, will they, they're, they're probably going to play Karn, right? Uh, yeah, really need to draw that Mastermind's Acquisition. Real soon here. Now they can get Meteor Golem and blow up our Revel and Riches if they have that in the sideboard with Karn. Oriel Grazer, net more zombies. Sure. Play Crucible. Next turn they could play Karn or Golos and or both, actually. Sure. Huh. 2468. I guess I have to go for this, right? Pass. Let's hope that we can try to, like, seriously, we, we need, we desperately need. That Mastermind's Acquisition, so. Ratchet Bomb's pretty good here. Three, six. They get Meteor Golem, and we're in trouble. Yep. Which permanent will they blow up? Nice. Very interesting. Yep. Me Revel and Riches, you got it. Okay. Uh, that about locks it up, right? I mean, that was our only way to win. Uh, we didn't draw anything for except for lands for quite some time. Yeah, that's not going to change anything. Um, yeah, that's really not going to change anything. Okay. Uh, they have a Karn. I, a 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 15. Sure. I mean, I don't know what else we can really do, so I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of Karn now. Because after this, we drop down to 2 health, right? Ideally, now we draw another Swamp. Before Phyrexian Arena kills us. Alright, so what is the opponent looking to draw here? Okay, another Swamp. That's good. Alright. Let's just go ahead and fire off that. We don't have the mem the means to make treasure, so... Oh boy, that's a problem. Okay. Come on, deck. Come on. Give me something here. Oh, that's not good. They have the City's Blessing. If we don't find an answer to Wayward Swordtooth, we're dead. Okay, I guess that helps. Yep, down to four. Not ideal here. They can play Fabled Passage if they want. I mean, we're also very dead. So, like, at this point now... Oh, yeah, Dread Presence. Sure. Get two zombies. Crack that. They get the... Like, that puts us down to two. They're still choosing to draw cards. Okay. Golos, you got it. Yeah, they're, they're, there's absolutely zero outs now, right? Because, like, this is even, 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 even. So, like, I guess... The only out I have is draw another extinction event or something like that, name even, and then block Golos, but that's not exactly a winning line. Sure. Okay. And that's it. GG's. Uh, sure, I'll try this. We have Arena, right? I mean, ideally we find, like, a Grohl deck or something to get paired against. Just need to draw a land here. We'll be good. Alright, pass. Alright, we drew a land that's very good. Unfortunately, that opponent representing that they have an island is not comforting. Sure, I'll go ahead and play Phyrexian Arena. This will probably get like Spell Pierce or something like that. If it's mono blue, that's a lot better for us than like them playing like control. So, great. So it's mono blue. Luckily, our entire deck is pretty redundant here. Uh, they also missed a land as we did too. Let's go ahead and kill Brineborn right now. Before they have the opportunity to give it a counter or anything along those lines. All right, pass the opponent again. We got just, like, we're all removal spells, right? So that's that's pretty good for us. Uh, let's gain some life out of this. And now we're up to 26. And at some point, we can probably get them to tap out. Because now we, we only need one land. All right. Killed the Brazen Borrower. Now, I do want to try to fire... Like, maybe I should have saved that for the, like, the instant speed and try to get them to play something else. Um, Let's see. What else do we have here? It's a wizard. Let's try this. 
This should get them to like spell pierce or something like that, right? Whatever counter magic they might have. Sure. So now they probably have Curious Obsession like loaded to the brim. I would maybe maybe I should have like Oh. Alright, that's good. At least they only have one mana currently, but they did just get a refill while we're low on cards. So we gotta try for this. Name odd. Alright, got rid of the the Storm Tamer thing. That's that's good. Uh this is just currently a 1-1. One, one. They have another curious obsession. So this shows they have like something along the lines of like uh like like spell pierce or something like that. Because they wanted to leave up one mana. So maybe that's also like tendrils. Or not tendrils, um dive down. Yep, they have dive down. Okay. So hopefully we can just run them out of spells here, right? Like that's what we need to do. But like seems a little hard when they are currently getting a ton of draws every turn. And their deck is pretty redundant. Huh. I know they must have a bigger counter spell. But I, I gotta I gotta I gotta jam Lily, right? Until they run out. Which is a little difficult considering that they won't probably. Alright, this isn't good for us. Oh, that's a top card. Well they're not keeping a land, so. Lookout's dispersal, you got it. So how do I win here? Honestly, I think I'd rather just get hit to death by this Brineborn Cutthroat. Uh, let's see. Okay. I gotta go for this now, right? If they have another spell, they have another spell. I can't do anything. GG's! They got us with the Wizard's Retort. I, I needed a little bit of, like, hand disruption or something like that. Oh, uh, let's keep this. We have a sweeper and, and some, like, spot removal. Although we have nothing cheap, so... That is concerning. Oh, every blood crypt. That's not great. Okay, yeah, it's Grawl. So, we gotta... Hope that they play another odd-costed card. Alright. There we go. I guess let's just go ahead and play the, uh, like, the swamp here, right? Hold up the blood crypt. I mean, uh, leave up two mana, so that I can give something minus two, minus two, if need be. Sure. Sure. Don't want them to draw cards, so I gotta actually kill this Galia now. And now we just name Odd, pick off the two pelt collectors. Alright, got rid of those. And now, like, the opponent is stuck on two lands. So that is a little unfortunate. Hmm. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go fire off Mastermind's Acquisition. Grabbing Blast Zone. This allows me to for sure get another land. And then this way when they play a creature, we could just minus two Liliana. I mean, minus four Liliana and pick off the two. Alright. Minus two. Get rid of both of those. They probably have another three drop and requesting beast in hand, right? There's no doubt in my mind that they do. Oh, they don't. Alright, so it's like stomp. All I know is that whatever they were holding on to, it was obviously around the three mana curve. And I'm gonna go ahead and put Blast Zone on three. Yup. All right, put that on three. Uh, sure. They only have three, four, they have four, five, huh? Interesting. I'll, I'll, I think I'll kill it, go down to seven. This way they have to like commit more to the board, right? They, they'll either play the other giant or uh, like, and I, I leave up blast zone. So if they try to play like Spellbreaker, swing, something along those lines. Odd, they chose not to play anything. I'm gonna play Massacre Girl. That makes me suspicious. Makes me think that they might have some way around all my stuff here, so. Alright. Down to five here. And we get to keep our, uh, our Massacre Girl. Feels good. 
Uh, I'll attack because we do have Vraska's Contempt to deal with any hasters, and then we have Blast Zone to deal with Spellbreaker. All right. So got rid of Questing Beast. We're back up to seven. And they've got a mountain. All right. So at some point, they've we've got to kill them, right? So we just got to start hoping that they don't have anything too good here. Yeah, Spellbreaker is exactly what, uh, why we left Blast Zone on three. And now, yeah, that should be GG's. Oh, I'll keep. Now we have early spot removal, so please be a Grawl deck. Please be a Grawl deck. Be some kind of, like, aggro deck. Alright, perfect. Has Ancient Ziggurat. Probably has is a, a deck I want to play against, so. Let's get the Goose out of here. We're not a very flashy deck. We are just trying to win through the very simple methods of just removing all of our opponent's things. So this works out perfectly. Uh, missed a land drop, unfortunately. Knight of Autumn is kind of insane here. Like, that was just, like, really good against us. Oh, my gosh. Really needed the draw there. Considering that we missed out on some lands. Oof. Um, what do I want to do here? I could Mastermind's Acquisition to get Blast Zone. No, I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass. Let me... I don't have to worry about Planeswalkers all too much. All right. Midnight Reaper. All right, here's what we'll go ahead and do. We'll give... Minus three to the Knight of Autumn. Hopefully we draw a land here. We did. Perfect. So now we can go ahead and play Eldest Reborn. Yeah, they draw a card, but hopefully they don't have another Knight of Autumn. Call of the Death Dweller. All right. So I can't kill it anymore with Heartless Act because it has the counters on it. What am I afraid of now from the opponent? I think I know what I need to do, though. Let's go ahead and get... Like, I think them having a graveyard is going to be a problem, right? So, let's go ahead and grab Ashiok. Make sure that we remove their graveyard all at once. Yep. Sure. Okay. Uh... Let me see here. Three, six. I think I'll pass. I want to get one more land where I can go board wipe plus exile their graveyard. Or even better, now, actually, I could wait still, but Mire Triton, sure. So they definitely are dependent on their graveyard. Ancient Ziggurat again. I think that's all the same for us. Sure. They get any permanent, so that means Gilded Goose can come back. Not that big a deal. So, let's hope for a land. That's what we've got to find, right? Interesting. Alright, well hopefully we get to keep this Immortal Sun. I mean, it's entirely possible that we don't. Okay. Never mind, now we have a problem. Alright, so we need to kill this. But then we die to that, like... There's too many things going on right now, and like, also, they all don't die to Ritual of Soot. Which is a huge problem. Luckily... I think we might be okay. Alright. On their turn, after they draw... Uh, yeah, let's just take the the seven. Because I think they might have something else to do. Fauna Shaman. All right, once again. All right, well, we didn't hit what we wanted. So I have to sweep the board here. Like, I wanted a land pretty bad. So then this way we can go Ashiok right after. Nethroi, yeah. See, that's kind of what I imagine. They probably play Nethroi. They probably even play, like... Uh, the ultimatum, but since they didn't get it this turn, we should be okay. Perfect. So now that's all gone. Their graveyard's gone, so they gotta rebuild. 
And that's exactly what we want. Sure, Chupacabra is fine. And now... Yeah, perfect, perfect. Mastermind's acquisition right now, not bad either. Still welcomed. And let's go digging for an Immortal Sun again. I know it seems weird when we have Ashiok, but we really only, we're just going to keep activating Ashiok to uh, mill their cards, and then we'll play this so then we can refuel our hand. Also, that Tendrils of Corruption like straight up saved us. GG's. Uh, I guess we'll keep. I don't know what this means from the opponent of the Alurus. Could be cycling. Oh, it's just Cat Oven then. Alright, so we need to go and grab Mastermind's Acquisition. Try to survive long enough. To, like, find, like, either a Ashiok or something along those lines. Uh, I mean, we need Mastermind's Acquisition for this. Sure. Opponent's got a Stitcher Supplier. Croaksa. Alright, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and destroy this now. The Priest. And then they're gonna probably make me discard. I mean, they, they will because that's what Croaksa does. And I'm gonna discard a land and take three here. Yep. It's kind of dangerous playing Cat Oven against them, but... Or playing uh, against Cat Oven and then playing Arena, but we do need the card draw, right? Like, I don't think we can sit around and wait. So... Need to make sure we really get the, our draws going. Alright. Priest Forgotten Gods. Scorpion, you got it. Okay, so I need to make sure that I just kill this priest and that's it. Uh, right, because now we have Mastermind's Acquisition. We gotta get Leyline. Or Ashiok. One of the two. I think it's gotta be Leyline, to be completely honest. Leyline does a lot of work against them. And it may not necessarily do anything to their current board state that they've got, but... Alright, so they put Luris into their hand. Perfect. Alright, so this makes it so that they their like death triggers don't do anything. We can cast down something this turn. Sure, they get the oven. Got it. I don't necessarily know how much damage I can actually afford here, but I'm going to play this Ley Line here right now. They have to sack the uh, uh, the Scorpion. Also doesn't do anything. And now we go Massacre Girl. I, I think what I need to make sure I leave behind is the Scorpion because I cannot kill the Stitcher Supplier. Also, I have no one power or one toughness creature to kill. Okay, now I do. Perfect. Yeah, I'm not in the market to take more damage than need be. So, I gotta kill the Scorpion. It doesn't do anything. That's fine. We take five. We do need to, like, find a way to survive here and, like, quick. Scorpion, sure. Let's go ahead and play Cabal Stronghold. Get rid of everything here. Right, with Massacre Girl. Sure. They have two one drops, so that's fine with me. Oh, nothing dies, right? Right on. So, we gotta get that out of there. I just need to play a body, right? Okay. Oven, you got it. So, this has to be something like, like Claim the Firstborn, right? I'm like 90% sure it is. Oh, perfect. Okay, so now we go ahead and hang back for a second here. No need to attack. They're at 24. If they play Kroxa, which I doubt they can because they only have uh, three cards in the yard, including Kroxa, we just play Lil we discard Liliana. We got to make sure we keep Erebos' intervention, though. I assume this is Claim, correct? All right. And I assume they're going to probably attack. I mean, they... they can't, I, actually, they probably shouldn't, because then I block with Murderous Rider. And they're forced to use an oven, but I think they're going to use the oven anyways. 
Yep, yep. So that goes into my deck, I believe. Because, yep. Seems good. Perfect. Alright, so we got to connect at least once here. Getting to connect with at least the Murderous Rider is pretty major. And now if they draw, like, Claim again, I just go ahead and cast Erebus' Intervention, targeting the Murderous Rider. How many claims is that? There was one in the yard. One in the exile. That's fine. We'll discard Lily. Yup, that's perfect. Going down to three here, not the worst thing for us. Let's go ahead and just get in there for some damage. Alright, I'll go ahead and play Murderous Rider and pass again. So now we have another Murderous Rider, which is exactly like what we're looking for. We're also pressuring them now. They're down to 11. They drew another land. On top of that, they can't... I don't imagine them having a main deck way to answer my Leyline of the Void. I will not be playing the second copy of that, that's for sure. Alright, so we gain four. They're down to three now. Alright, perfect. Uh, we'll see what they, they play here, but like, there's a strong chance I just go ahead and kill off the priest here. In response to another creature. Sure, let's fire this off. Priest of Forgotten Gods will be targeted here. And we got it! GG's! Keep. We have Arena. Two removal spells. A Massacre Girl. Okay, well. This might be a pretty quick game for us. We don't do anything till turn three. They've already got three mana. So I think their game plan is just to like ramp and ramp and ramp right into Ulamog, right? So this turn could be Nyssa. Or Vivian. Alright, deck. Let's kill this Vivian. I mean, what? I don't know what else they could be playing. Yep, there it is. One of the most miserable cards. Thank you. Take six. Oh, man. They need to not have more of that. But I guess like, if, if they didn't have that, what else would they be playing, right? Can they play another 1-1? One, one? Into our Massacre Girl? Nope! That's not a feel-good whatsoever. Alright. Alright. Yep, they're sacking the goose. That's a problem. Oh, perfect! Okay, cool. That was actually perfect. They went right into a 1-2. Sure, crack the food token, you got it. And now we're looking at potentially killing the, the Luka. Oh my gosh, we just barely survived that. Oh my gosh. There's Ulamog. So they play Goose. Not a big deal. They play Hydra. Not a big deal. We can go ahead and kill either one because we have Murderous Rider. And then swing into Luka. Go down to five. If they just play Goose, we kill it with Moment of Craving. This is interesting. I can choose to swing in and do that. They can't block it anyways. Um, I guess I should just hold up my mana and be ready for whatever they play next. Alright, we're down to five. They went to combat. I don't have to worry about something like Questing Beast or something silly like that. Sure, they played Goose. Now we have the ability to Moment of Craving that. 
And if we don't find a land, we just go double Murderous Rider. Or, I mean, we play Murderous Rider. We didn't, so yeah, Murderous Rider it is. This way, the sooner we can get to play, like, getting uh, uh, our arena online. Because I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to, like, take a ton of damage early. Not right now. Sure. I guess I'll kill that too. Perfect. Get in for some damage. Alright, now that we have six mana, I can go Murder Strider and just give that minus two. And this way, if they play something like Nyssa, anything along those lines, we can still like have more board presence than they do. Uh, and then just swing in and try to kill it. Perfect. Drew what we needed. Let's go. Immortal Sun, baby. And we got there with a record of 5-2. and two. Uh, As you saw there, we did struggle against, like, the Feel of the Dead deck and Mono Blue, like, because, you know, they were just loaded with a bunch of counter spells. So, like, luckily this deck does do fairly well against aggro decks and most creature-based decks. Uh, and it, it really is just for the, the, the mage that wants to just, like, you know, fire off a bunch of kill spells. Like, sometimes it's just fun just getting rid of all the creatures constantly. Uh, but, of course, you know, that comes with the, the fact that we are absolutely terrible against control decks. So, hopefully you don't run into any of those with this deck. But, otherwise, if you enjoy just playing all kill spells, this is definitely the deck for you. And then, you know, picking and, like, choosing whatever win condition you want to win with uh, after that point. It doesn't matter, but it's all a blast regardless. So, thank you so much for watching another episode of Single Scoop. And as always, feel free to leave a like and a sub and hit the bell icon to be notified when a brand new video comes up. Other than that, your friendly neighborhood Asian Avenger signing out and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.